Hello everybody, my name is Salty and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm doing a review of the 20th anniversary edition of the Snowspeeder for LEGO Star Wars. It had the set number of 75259, it includes 309 pieces and retailed for $40 in the US. As you can see in front of you it does include four minifigures, one of which is the pilot version of Luke Skywalker, which you can see has the lightsaber. There's Dak Rota, which is the other pilot that you can see in front of you. Then there is a Rebel Hoth Trooper that you can see on the far right, and on the far left you can see Lando Calrissian 20th Anniversary Edition. So the first minifigure that we have here is Luke Skywalker in his pilot outfit. This can be seen in episode 5 of Star Wars. Then as you can see, <coughs> as you can see on him, there is very detailed torso and leg printing. And this minifigure does include a lightsaber and a small blaster pistol. He does also have printing on his helmet as well as some very nice face printing, which you can see slightly better if I take off that helmet. Now turning him around, he does have a double-sided face as well as some very nice back printing, which is simple but does get the job done. And if we put his helmet back on, you can see what he will look like if you had him flying his snowspeeder. The next minifigure we have up here is Dak Rolta. He is Luke's co-pilot or gunner in his snowspeeder. Now, as you can see, he does have the same printing on him as Luke does. If I just try and adjust the light there. They got the same printing except different helmets. Now this character also only has a blaster pistol and does not have a lightsaber due to not being a Jedi. Now if I take off his helmet, similarly to Luke, he does have extended printing which does get covered. And then if we turn him around, you can see he does have a more worried expression for when he dies. And also the same back printing as Luke. Now here is the Hoth. Rebel Trooper. He has got a large blaster which is reminiscent of the blaster that was used in the original uh, Snow Speeder set for Lego Star Wars. Now he does have some very nice torso printing and no leg printing as you can see and he does have a helmet. Now if you want to you can take off this helmet and adjust this clip here to the front so that he is covered for the snowstorm. There he is. Now if we flip him around and I don't drop him then you can see that he has no second face and he does have a backpack on. Now we can take this backpack off like so to reveal his back printing which does look good for this minifigure. Now the fourth and final minifigure in this set is Lando Calrissian, 20th Anniversary Edition, originally from the 2003, the 2003 Lego Star Wars set. I think it was the Cloud City at the time. Now as you can see he does have an, a, the old version of the Lego Star Wars Blaster which was used in a lot of sets before the Blaster piece that is like this but longer was used very frequently. Now he does have a two coloured cape which was the same as the minifigure at the time and if we turn this around to try and avoid creasing it you can see he does have the 20 years of Lego Star Wars on the back as this minifigure did not have back printing at the time. Flipping him back around to the front you can see that he does have a very simple face and very simple hair and also some very nice torso printing, especially for at the time. As is customary at this point with the 20th anniversary LEGO sets, you can see that Lando does have his 20 years of LEGO Star Wars and Lando carries in his name on his little stand. And you can use this stand to connect to all of the other 20th anniversary sets that you might have. You can just clip him on there. Or alternatively, you can clip the others onto there. 
so that you now have all five of the 20th anniversary figures that came in sets and not poly bags. That's the poly bag ones. Or one is a little bit more, it's a little bit different. Next up, we have some extra scenery from this scene. It is a small blaster gun thing that was used on the Battle of Hoth for Echo Base. As you can see here, I have the extra studs just put onto this clip here, which is really made for the weapon that is used by this guy. Now, it does have some micro binoculars for this minifigure to use to view far distances if he wants to look at something that is quite far away. Personally, I think that if you invert the hand, then they get a more accurate look through the macro binoculars, like so. Now this, removing this, it does, as you can see, it does turn. There is a small piece here, which is supposed to represent a console, as is going to be used by the rebel trooper. And it does, of course, spin, as you can see, and this can rotate. Now here is the actual blaster for it, and here it's a stud shoot up to the side, which can shoot if you press here. Trying to... there we go. And then you can reload it with the spare studs that you get with this set. So this is a very nice bit of scenery to add to a echo base. And of course, finally, we have got the snow speeder itself. Now, as you can see, this is a very detailed and good model. It is a lot better than the previous one, although it does not change much. It doesn't go as to the wings. That is a flaw that I have found with it. If I can clip it back on, it would probably help. Now, it does have a stud shooter here, which works the same way as the previous one was shown. And it does have this cable for you to wrap around the end of a 8080, such as the one releasing in summer of 2020, and I just knocked the little clip off, so I'll have to attach that after the video. Now the set does have a lot of sticker details, as you can see there's a sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, and underneath these flaps there is also some stickers. There is also some stickers on the front of this set right there. Now you can open up this hatch in two ways, you can open up the front of it, and you can open up the back bit. Now there is room here for you to put your character's weapons, like so, but it's a bit of a pain to get them out, so I'd recommend just keeping them off to the side. Now you can put Dak back here, if you just slant him so he's enjoying himself and is relaxed while laying backwards. You can also take apart Luke's lightsaber and put it in this back portion here. Now Luke can sit here, like so, and you can close the cockpit on top of them so that they are driving away. Now you can pick up the set from behind, which is how I personally would do it, and you can fly it around your Battle of Hoth. Now on the, just pick this up like this, on the underside you can see here there are, there are three sloped pieces that are being used for the landing gear, and here and here on the set there are spring-loaded shooters. So you can grab your spring loaded shooter shooty bit and push it into the set like so which is completely invisible from the top and then when you want to fire you push inwards like this so you can clip your hand like that to shoot it out overall i do think this is a very good set it isn't very duplicable due to the named characters and the absence of unnamed characters such as just a rebel pilot as they're both named however i'm sure if you own a lot of other hoth sets like i do then you do have uh rebel pilots that you can swap in so i do overall really like this set and i think it is one of the better it's it's not better than some of the other 20th anniversary sets but it definitely isn't a bad set nonetheless it's a very good snow speeder and i'm very glad i have it in my collection Thank you all very much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.